chilli and garlic fried broccoli. Okay, so we need to blanch our broccoli in boiling water for two minutes. After the broccoli has cooked, you need to place your pan into a sink and let the cold water run over it until the broccoli cools down. Once you've cooled it down, drain it into a colander until the water's come off. We're going to add two tablespoons of sunflower oil to our pan. We're going to add ginger, garlic, and our sliced chilli. Then we're going to add the stems from our broccoli. And we're going to stir fry those. And then straight in with our cooked broccoli fillets. To cook our rice, bring a pan of water to the boil and add the long grain rice to the pan. Depending on the packet instructions, it'll be around about 20 minutes. Once the rice is cooked, we need to cool it under cold water and allow it to drain in a colander until it's completely dry. Okay, so here's our rice, cooked, cooled, and drained in the colander. And to make our fried rice, we need to heat a pan and we need to crack our eggs, two eggs, into a bowl. and lightly whisk them. And using a frying pan or a wok, we need to make a very quick omelette with our eggs. We took our omelette out and we heat our pan back up. Put the omelette, just shred. Okay, back into our pan, and we need to stir fry our chopped ginger and garlic, along with our carrots. Then we add our peppers, and half of our spring onions, and we add our rice. We add about a tablespoon of soy sauce, light soy sauce and about one teaspoon of sesame oil. Put our omelette, the pan, and the remaining spring onion. Okay, for our spiced mackerel, we need to make the marinade first, which consists of some light soy sauce, and a combination of Chinese five spice, crushed chili flakes, a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar. Give it a mix. And add the mackerel fillets. And leave them as long as you possibly can. An hour is great, four or five hours is even better. Make sure the whole fish is covered in the seasoning. Okay, so our mackerel's been marinating now for a couple of hours. We're going to lay it onto a baking tray lined with a bit of greaseproof paper so it doesn't stick. We're going to cook this under the grill, skin side up, so the skin becomes crisp. Okay, so our fish is nearly ready. I'm going to plate our meal up. So you see, the 125 grams of rice that we've cooked is easily enough to feed four people. really crisp skin so if you leave it skin side up the skin will completely crisp up.